Okay, friends, so the next store I went to was Fruitful Yield. I'm not sure if they're everywhere. There, I ended up spending $126.41. Um, this is a little closer to me than a Whole Foods and even Fresh Market. Um, Fruitful Yield, I like to go into that store when like I'm right there in the neighborhood and I wanna run in and get a few things. I know they're gonna carry a lot of good things. Um, so let me just show you what I got. The first thing that I got, um, I ended up getting this for my husband. He was looking for a cereal that had a little bit more fiber in it for him. So I got him this Nature's Path Organic Heritage Crunch. So we'll see if he ends up liking that. I got some more Himalayan salt. I did end up getting the Organic Valley Ghee. It says that it's pasture raised. So I'm assuming this is okay. There was one that said grass fed. Um, I'm hoping because they said it's pasture raised, it's just as good. And then I did need some pure vanilla extract because I'm gonna be making some fat bombs. Um, some MCT oil. I did end up getting the avocado oil mayo. I'm really excited to try this. I don't like the olive oil mayo. I think it's gross. So hopefully I'll like the avocado oil. I ended up getting this field day organic crunchy and salted peanut butter. Um, it's organic peanuts and sea salt. So I'm hoping it's okay. I'm gonna wanna be um I wanna be <laughs> I'm gonna be making some fat bombs with that. And then I did get some of the gum for a lot of recipes actually. I got two packages of the Lily's, the dark chocolate chips. Um, I got some cacao powder. Again, I'm gonna be making like some chocolate truffle, um, kind of like fat bombs. And then I got these little nibs just to have in case I needed them. I did get one package of the organic raw almonds, unsalted. I got the unsweetened shredded organic coconut. I'm going to be making some fat bombs with that. And um, some organic erythritol. And then you guys know that I've been kind of craving Diet Coke. So I always turn to Zevia. I want to say it was like six, maybe six years ago. I did quit Diet Coke. You guys, I used to be a, a big Diet Coke drinker, like two, three a day. Um, then I started drinking it again, maybe almost two years for the like, past two years. And, um, but that was more like one or two, three a week. But I still wanna kick that bad habit. So I can't even remember how many days. Last time I counted, I was 10 days. So maybe four, 14 days now with no Diet Coke. Um, so I went and picked up Zevia. What I like about Fruitful Yield is you can buy it by the can or you can buy it in the six pack. So I just bought a few because I really like to drink my lemon water. I really love to drink my lemon water. So I only got a few and then I still have some of the Dr. Pepper one. Um, my husband has been drinking the Dr. Pepper ones with me as well. So just trying to, you know, get away from that. I know Diet Coke is really, really bad for me. So like I said, 14, at least 14 days now, no diet, no diet pop, no pop. Well, that's all I used to drink was diet, but no diet anything for me. So that is it. Like I said, I had spent $126.41. But you know, like a lot of this stuff is pricey, maybe $15, I think $12. You know, this stuff is pricey. So that is it guys. Thanks so much. I hope you enjoyed. If you're new here, my name is Deborah, and I am almost, tomorrow will be two weeks on keto and I am loving it. I feel so good. And um, if you want to continue watching my journey here on keto, or if you love home decor or hauls, I'd love for you to join the family here. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will definitely catch you at the next one. Hey, friends. It's Deborah. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for coming back and spending some time with me today. Let's just start off by, if you're new here, hi, my name is Deborah. I do lifestyle videos that include the home decor, home decor hauls, grocery hauls. I've now incorporated keto into my grocery hauls and all other kind of fun stuff. Um, 
So if you're interested in those kind of videos, please do me a favor and click on that red subscribe button. I'd love for you to be part of my YouTube family and my YouTube journey here, especially my new journey, um, a key to a healthy me. That is my new Instagram account. I have two. I have the first one, Deborah underscore Gabriella, for all home decor related stuff. And then I created a second one, Key, K E Y, two, T O, a healthy me. Um, and I created that so it's all things keto, all things healthy, all things healthy, I guess I should say, my version of healthy, all things fitness. So, yes. Please go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. Don't forget to click on that notification bell because I'd love for you to be part of my notification squad. Every time I upload a video, I'm, a, I'm going to start doing some shout outs and giveaways for people that start to comment first right away. Um, so if you're interested in my haul today, please keep on watching. Okay, so this is a short and super sweet haul. Um, I ha I'm going to go ahead and insert a haul right before this one that shows you my first trip to a local store here called the Fruitful Yield. They carry a lot of natural products. And I've been going to that store for a very, very, very long time. Um, it's a great store when I can't get to like a Whole Foods or a Fresh Time. It's a great store to just go in, grab what you need, and come out. <clears throat> So, let me go ahead and show you what I picked okay. up. So the first thing is, I did already haul two bags of the Lily's dark chocolate chips. I went in to grab one more bag. They only had two on the shelf, so I picked up the last two because we all know these go really fast. I was going to make some fat bombs with them mm -hmm. just to have as like toppers. It was my birthday recently and I chose not to eat cake or cheat or anything. And I had some enlightened bananas foster ice cream at the end of my day. I saved enough carbs for it. And I just topped it with a few raw almonds and a couple of these chocolate chips. So I don't do that very often. If I do have like a little bit of a sweet tooth, I'll sometimes put heavy whipping cream in my coffee and a couple of these chips, like two or three. Sometimes they don't even melt all the way because the heavy, we all know that the heavy cream kind of cools down the coffee. So anyway, I picked those up. Then I also, I mean, talk about keto breath. Keto breath is a real, real, real thing, guys. So I make sure to drink all my liquids. And, you know, I'm going to need some gum. So I went ahead and picked up the spree gum and it it's the gum with the xylitol in it so I picked up three flavors the spearmint the natural fruit and then I do have the cinnamon in my purse and I've tried all three and all three are good I'll probably go pick up larger packs of these just because I do chew them a lot because I'm serious keto breath is really bad and I also want to take a look at the mouthwash while I'm there next time um, Lilies. We're back to Lilies here. And I did pick up two chocolate bars. I've had these for over a week and a half. It's not for me to eat every day. It's not something that I want to eat every day. But if I have a taste for chocolate, I want to be able to reach and grab some, um, especially with Halloween coming up. Right now, I do have Halloween candy in the house. It's not a big deal for me. I'm not like craving it, I'm not wanting it, but maybe once it gets closer to Halloween, we're about a week and a half away from Halloween, and like the big, big candy bars that I give out and stuff, I'll be picking those up this weekend, so maybe I'll start getting tempted, I don't know, but I just want to have this in my arsenal in case I do. So I picked up the salted almond, and then I also picked up just the regular almond, and they had like three or four other flavors but I figured this is plenty like I said it's just a treat once in a while and obviously I won't be eating the entire bar this has each bar has two servings I don't know I feel like if I start eating it then I'm gonna want it so I try I tend to stay away from it what I'm craving now guys is orange juice not that I used to even drink a lot of orange juice but I see my husband drink it every morning and I'm like hmm you know I'm missing my fruit 
Um, I've tried the raspberries. I've tried the strawberries. I do have them frozen because they're coming, they're going out of season. Um, but I miss my grapes. I love grapes. But anyway, so the next item I picked up was two cans of the organic pumpkin. And this was for some pumpkin fat bombs that I saw a recipe on on Instagram. So I'm going to go ahead and make those. I did end up picking up some coconut flour. I got another bag of raw almonds. Just They're 20% off and I'm probably halfway through my other almonds because my husband eats them as well. He's not doing keto, but he does eat them as well. And then I picked up, I hope to goodness this is what I'm supposed to get, one of my recipes, or I see a lot of recipes that call for gelatin, so I picked this up, beef gelatin powder. Somebody, uh, one of the ladies that worked there said it doesn't, she uses it and it doesn't have a real big beef taste, so I picked that up, and I think that was it from the store. I did pick up a ton of Zevia, because there you can purchase by the can, so I'll pick like six or seven different flavors and I have to say I am 25 days free diet coke free and I'm so proud of myself um the last this past weekend I was craving it a lot like I almost broke down and had a diet coke but I stayed strong I felt like it wasn't worth it I know I could have it on keto I just I don't want to drink diet coke I gave it up seven years ago and about two years ago I started drinking it again and I just I'd rather stay away from it so, <clears throat> moving on to drinks, let's talk syrups. Now, I don't know how many people use syrups, but I do see all over Instagram that these skinny syrups, people are using these skinny syrups, um, the whipped foam toppings. So, I picked some up. I picked some up. So, while I was out at, I believe, TJ Maxx, I mean, they're everywhere. TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods. You can pick them up or you can order them directly online from skinny, I don't know, they're Jordan's skinny syrups. Guys, I don't know. Like when I first started keto and I couldn't have my sugary creamers, I picked up this Torani Classic Hazelnut Sugar Free and it's okay. It's okay. You could tell that I didn't haven't used a lot of it. Um I recently bought pumpkin pie or pumpkin spice coffee from Trader Joe's. I love Trader Joe's coffee, and I just uploaded a haul. If you're interested, I'll go ahead and link the video up below. That way you can t uh, check it out. It's very very keto friendly. But I did buy their pumpkin spice coffee, and I thought I would put some of this pumpkin cheesecake in there. And guys, I don't know if I necessarily need the syrups at this point. I obviously haven't tried the s'mores and I haven't opened up the whipped foam topping. This is maple bourbon. I picked the best flavors that they had. Um, I was really looking for just like a pumpkin, pumpkin spice, uh, but this is the only pumpkin thing they had. But anyway, I don't know if I necessarily like the syrup so much that I have to use them. I think I would just prefer my cup of coffee with the heavy cream, some MCT oil, and a little, a, like a little packet of stevia. I think, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe if I really, really have a craving for it, I'll use them, but I don't know. I don't know. So comment down below, let me know, do you use these in your coffee, if you're not drinking your bulletproof coffee in the morning? And... Let me know if you're doing lazy keto, strict keto. What kind of keto are you doing? Comment down below. Let me know. Do you use these syrups? And what type of keto are you following? So that is it, guys. It's short and sweet and simple. I just, like I said, I needed a few of these things back here to make some of those fat bombs. And that is it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate your time. And I'll definitely catch you at the next one. Hey friends, it's Deborah. Welcome back to the channel. So I just wanted to go ahead and show you what I picked up at Costco this week. It's not a full, full, big, blown Costco haul, but let me show you what I got. I picked up a package of the Mr. Clean erasers. I should have picked them up when they were on coupon, but their price was pretty good because you do get 11 
If you guys watch my Instagram stories, you guys know that I use these all the time. I picked up some of the Frank's Red Hats um, for my chicken wings. Some more of my little tomatoes. You guys know I love snacking on them. I picked up a bag of the Moon Cheese. Just because I've heard really good things about these, so I wanted to try those. I picked up some of these ribs. I've picked them up before. They're actually really, really good. Um, obviously, I can't eat them doing keto, but I did pick these up for my husband and my mother. I did pick up some salmon. Um, not the best because it is farm-raised, but I had a taste for salmon, so that's what I'll be eating for dinner while they snack on ribs. I got this bacon. Now, if you've been following me, you know that I usually get that applewood smoked bacon, but I looked at the ingredients and there was sugar, and I know that they use sugar to cure bacon, but this one doesn't indicate that they ha that it has sugar. Um, if you're following keto or any kind of like keto style diet, can you let me know what Can you let me know what bacon you use? Because I do see Gia from Marriage and Motherhood, and this is the one that she purchases, So, and she does keto. Um, I don't think she does really strict. She might. I don't know. Um, but this is the one that Gia uses, so and I know she does keto. But let me know if there's a different bacon that you guys get somewhere else, Whole Foods, wherever, Trader Joe's, that might be better than this. I did get the organic 24 count eggs. I got the ground beef. Now I was gonna get the organic, but the organic doesn't have as much fat. And if you, if you're doing keto, you know that you want as much fat as you can get. So I got that. So that was 21.62 for six and a half pounds. I also picked up Bella's chicken tenderloins. And that was 26.16 for eight, almost nine pounds. Picked up some, I picked up some chicken party wings and that was almost nine pounds for $20. And then I also picked up some chicken thighs and that is almost 11 and a half pounds for 13.53. And then they did have their Charmin on coupons, so I picked up one package of the 